ain't even gonna say nothing. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey guys, what are you about to say? Nothing. I'll just wait and see what happens. <laughs> we're, uh, we're back with an all new video. It is Monday. It is February the 1st. I wrote down so I wouldn't forget. It's happy February. Happy 1st of the month. Happy Black History Month. And happy early birthday to me because my happy birthday is tomorrow. Happy baby for Tiffany's birthday. Thank you. Happy pre-Groundhog Day. Oh, tomorrow is Groundhog's Day. So we find out if it's going to be more spring or yeah. me. If it's going to be spring. If we're going to spring for or we're going to fall back. Huh? That's no. what it is. What does that mean? If we spring forward, the t that's what the time does. No, that is the same thing. Well, like they even... trust me, I don't know. Okay. But um, so yeah, I'm really hoping for it to spring it on up because here in Baltimore, it seems like spring doesn't start until June these days, and that's real shit. And we said don't start till the last week of December. Like, I don't know, but right now Baltimore City is a shit show. Baltimore City is a shit <laughs> show. It literally is piles of dirty snow everywhere. And where it's and not a pile of snow, it's a puddle of dirty yes, snow. Yes, or mud. And it melts every day, and then it freezes every night, and then it melts during the day, and then it freezes. Like, it's literally a that's cycle every single... No. I can't take that's it. A, that's not what I mean. Like, I, I literally, I, I can't take it, but, um... Anyway, I feel like I don't want to. I didn't have a bad Monday. I um. I didn't have a bad Monday. Either. I went to bed, kind of not too late. I mean, I guess it's regular. It's like here and I'm getting kind of old, so it's like sometimes I go to bed at eleven something, sometimes one something. Last night wasn't a good night. I hit the snooze button for an hour this morning, and I do mean an hour. And I had to literally drag myself out of the bed. It was disgusting. Me too. I play a little game with myself in the morning. Where it's just like I wake up around 7 30 and I try to like wake up and what I do is get on my phone after I like thank you God for waking me up or whatever. I get on my phone and I notice the more I get in, on my phone, the more it, like in, like into what I get to where I wake up and hopefully I'm ready to get out the bed by 8 o'clock. Sometimes it don't work, sometimes I don't get out of bed at 8.10. But I don't have that luxury because I have to be to work at eight o'clock. So I mean, I, I I knew the struggle. Um, and then I had a lot of work to do today, and I knew I had to get it all done today because my birthday is tomorrow, and I'm off of work. So and I purposely got all my work done today because I knew I wouldn't be at work tomorrow either. Did you see my picture of the mail? Mm-hmm. So I opened all of it and sorted all of it. Literally, by the time I had time to record, I mean, to get notes down for the show, it was like 4.30, almost time for me to leave work. Mm -hmm. Then, I forgot that I gave my laptop to our producer, but inside of the laptop was my, mm -hmm. my memory card. It just, I, so I had to go buy a new memory card. Like, I don't know why. I'm about to just, when I have spare money, just buy some. Like, and I didn't even tell you that my fucking charger is broke. Like, what? That's where I need to go tomorrow to get a goddamn cord. Like, it's just, mm -hmm. it's too much. But, um, I did want to fill y'all in on, because everybody's been like, what are you doing for your birthday? What are you doing for your birthday? So, tomorrow, I'm off. Like, that's a gift to myself. That's, that's a my, gift to me, too. That's my favorite part. You of know it. it. Uh, I'm gonna go get a pedicure, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get you know how they got like the little extra options. I'm gonna get the hot wax and all y'all. Yo, that's gonna be a nice time for you. I'm really about to go you all out because somebody gave me a gift card to get it now, so now shit just got real. Okay, but let me tell y'all about my chin. Okay, and then we can go to the video. Okay, so I don't know. Most of you, you know what I, I meant to say this. I meant to say this to my friends earlier when we went out group text. Notice that things that I hope people really don't stare at about me or mm -hmm. see, you know, things that you think that maybe you only see, mm -hmm. and then like one day you look in the mirror and you just like, it's no, yes! way it's no way that they can't see it. Yes. So I was like, okay, so 
I'm so frustrated with this beard. And let me tell y'all about this beard. Oh my god. I started out with maybe three chin hairs. Mm, mm, mm. And they constantly came back like I would cut them or just pull them out. And they just would come back. So everybody had told me for the longest time, never shave them. Do not shave them. Don't shave I them. I would Well, guess what I did? I shaved them. And that was years ago. And now I'm at a point in my life where every day, just about every day, they need to be shaved because I'm starting to have a full-grown beard. And um, Saturday when I went to go get my <laughs> eyebrows done, I asked the lady how much would it cost. She was like, oh, no, you know, you can't get yours done today. It's not long enough. It's not long enough. It's just stubble. And then she started telling me, you know, once I start waxing it, it'll start to get thin. It won't be hard no more. The pores will start to close. Like, it won't be as much hassle. And when I wax it, it'll literally, you won't have to come back for like two weeks. You won't have to shave. Bam. So That's she's like, needed. right, I was excited. So then she goes, so you're going to have to let it grow out for a couple days. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, because tomorrow, this was Saturday. So I'm like, okay, Sunday, I'll be in the house. Cool. Monday, I got to go to work. Like, how's this going to work, y'all? I've really been walking around looking like a grown-ass man all day. <laughs> like, and I was about to tell y'all about this shirt because I think this might be my third time wearing this in the past three months on this show. But today, I had to wear it for That's these purposes. Time. You can wear the shirt. Alright, but I, mm -mm. I, I had to wear it for the, like, I literally was talking about today, like, yeah, cuz, such and such. What the hell? Wait, then my sweater got stuck in my braces like it just did. Like, I just, I'm really walking around looking like a grown ass man. So, what I wanted to tell y'all was, do not, not don't do shave it. your chin. Ladies, listen to me. I don't promise do it. you. It's not worth it. Take it from me. Like, listen, I'm hardest person in the world like you can't no okay way. so I shaved these but I'm not getting the side of my face wax my sideburns I've had them all my life but I was thinking earlier like damn if I really let this beard like grow out like if I let this grow for like six months in this they it might possibly have, I have, have a full grown beard you know it's a bearded lady and she's like a model she's beautiful she just has a full beard listen thank God, I don't have a man right now because I need to pay some like, Maybe let me let, let me hit that up for you, y'all. I have a bit like today. I feel it. I felt it. Don't no, feel it. Like be like. I felt I it. I felt it. it. I <laughs> it. <laughs> she got a bit too. It's just trim today, so don't. And oh no, go like that. No, I don't want to though because it's weird. I kind of. But the thing upset. about it is, it's because she's lighter than me, and your hair is dark, so you can see it more. But can I tell you? I had the same story, one strand. Tiffany told me I told her. not to shave my bed. <laughs> I told her to shut the fuck up. And now I have a bed. It's like the worst thing in the world. Um, and I'm really thinking about um, getting some type of, um, to get rid of it. No, no. I don't want no no no. What's a no no? It's like a mini electrolysis thing. Oh yeah, you was telling me about that. But shout out to Kim. A viewer, not you, Kim, the other Kim. She probably don't even know about you, Kim. See, she don't even know I got two Kims. That we I, got two Kims? Yeah, because, oh. But, um, she told me that I can bleach my lip. Now, Tanea has been told me about this because oh. I have a mustache, too. So, she was telling me that I can bleach it. And you see, because my whole thing was, if I bleach it, is it going to be, like, white and is where you can see it? Like, no. So, she showed me a picture of her daughters, and you couldn't see her. So, I'm about to, y'all, I'm about to be the bomb. Like, I'm about to get my ah! sham wet. I'm about to get my <laughs> lip bleach, and I'm, I'm about, about to, to shape the up these sideburns. Now, tomorrow, I'm not going to be cute. Like, tomorrow is just, like, off of work, chill, get my feet done. I got to do some running around for Rex's birthday party. And then, um, I'm going out to eat with my family. But Friday, I'm going out with my friends. Be a bone so, that's Friday. when I'm going to, you know, shave this up a little bit. Shake myself up. Get this wax, bleach, you know. What? You no, know, I look like a frozen someone. mochi. One, I'm not going to say which one of our friends do it because I don't know if she wants people to know. <laughs> she goes and gets hers done like every... My sister gets hers done too. Yeah, you, have to, you have to keep, keep on doing it. Comment. No, cause see, I, I think I got grown man hair. I'm not sure, like, cause this bed is tripping me out. Like, Yo, that's cray cray. By the end of the week, I gotta have a goatee. True. But um, anyway, so yes, tomorrow. But I'm stuck because 
I have issues like with change and this is not even it's just I don't know why I like to go to the same restaurant every year for my birthday and I really wasn't going to and I'm still trying not to but my thing is my nephew is coming last year he couldn't do anything but this year he's a big boy and he likes games and I want a crab cake it's so not his Birthday. It's his birthday week, so we sharing it. But he's going to, he's going to Kitty Crusoe, and he's going to Chick Fil. -A. I mean, he's going to Chuck E. Cheese. Like it's ridiculous. The world is his. I can see I'm not us. Coming. I can see us playing basketball together now. Like so, it's between. Okay. It's called the American Steakhouse, I'm not going and it has an arcade in it. Um, let me tell you oh, how last year homegirl gets all pumped. Going. To go, how I met crab cake and steak dinner. Oh man, we're out of crab cake. They was, I'ma call them tomorrow. They was out of crab meat. That did make me sad because I don't eat steak like that. So I like to get my little teeny steak and my crab cake. And they got this cute little dip to go with the crab cake. I mean, I like it. And they have a big little arcade in the back. I'm a kid. So, but it's between that, Texas Roll House. But the thing about Texas Roll House is, Texas Roll House is heavy on the seasoning. I don't like a lot of salt. That's it's the truth. They are heavy on the seasoning. Tanae likes heavy seasoning. They're heavy on the seasoning. But on the other hand, though, I want the rolls, and I want my mother to go to that restaurant. And I know she's not going to go until I take her. And the third, I, it's really nothing on the menu that I eat. I mean, it's chicken breast, barbecue chicken breast. It's Why would I want that on the menu? I don't eat ribs. I probably won't want their steak. They don't have crab cakes or anything. Yes, they do. All right, hold on. Go ahead. And um, Red Lobster. But Red Lobster is just because I ain't been in a while and I've been craving it. But um, if they don't have a, a meal, I don't want to go. Like if it's not like the Do you see this? She don't want to go with me to my, for my decision. Anything she wants to do for her birthday, I turn into Tanea's slave for her birthday. <laughs> to be clear, okay? Tiffany, I turn you know. into her slave, so... I don't really, I'm really ignoring the things that she's saying right now, but, um, so yeah, Friday is when I'm going out with my friends to Kobe's, and I can't wait because I've been waiting for some Kobe's See, when you, when you go to a family dinner like this with my mother included, I really can't, you know, be intoxicated and all that, but see, this one with my friends, we are going in there, Friday, <laughs> Friday. It's gonna be amazing. Bacon. We're gonna be at the table looking like Chinese people. Like, what you want? We want noodles. Like, that's where we're gonna be at. But um, so yeah, my friend Simone got me a cake yesterday because she said she really wanted me to taste the cake from Wegmans, and I must admit it is delicious. If you've never had a birthday cake from Wegmans, I suggest it. But um, I'm also getting an ice cream cake, and today is supposed to be getting me another cake, but. I haven't decided when I want them, but that's enough about me. Um, hey, they don't have a crab cake. I knew they don't. Uh, they don't. They don't. Have, they really don't have much that I eat today. I mean, we can discuss it when I get we off. We want to talk about it later. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about our meeting. We had a meeting with Uncle Al during the week, which is rare. But I'm not sure if he was on vacation this week. No, he was on vacation. But um. So he took us to Chick-fil-A and he kept telling us that he had something important to tell us. Something important to tell us. Like he couldn't wait to tell us. He couldn't wait to tell us. So while we were at the meeting, like we eating, chilling, you know, we be stressed out doing these meetings. Right. Today, you know. You never know. We be you really know. getting in trouble right. for some shit. Like if y'all see mostly me. Yeah, it's usually Tanea eating ribs and shrimp on the show and shit. But um anyway, so he cracks yeah, out the um he cracks up some business cards. So we like, oh my god, these are so they got the back, um, with like this logo on it, and then the front has a picture on it. And it's a really nice. Thing. I really like it because sometimes with me and Tanae in the market, like I be talking to the cashiers, like, yeah, you know, we got a YouTube show. I be wanting to write it down, but then Tanae be like, no, let's go. Now I got a business card, and I be like, hey, girl, look us up. Google me, yo. We are Googleable. I've been Googleable. We are Googleable. Y'all should use your Wikipedia page. We should it. But um, the exciting news that he told us. Now we told you guys that we were really working hard for us to be able to go to the blackout in July, and um, we had discussed it out like a couple meetings ago, and we kept talking about it, and um, we were saying we were gonna get the prices together and stuff. So we're talking, and he's like, "Okay, finally, like I can tell y'all what's going on." No, and I think we started it talking was about it. I asked him, I was like. 
Uncle L, I really feel like um, you should pay for our tickets and let us pay you back. Yeah, like just put them on your credit card. We'll pay and you he back. Was like, so well, we I have them. something to say about that. I don't know if that's going to work. And I was like, okay, Uncle L. I'm like, this bitch is always asking Uncle L for something like... Why not? He my uncle. <sighs> okay, but go on. So, you know, so I'm just like, so he's like, I don't know if that's going to work, baby girl. And I'm like, oh, okay, Uncle Al, well, that's fine. He was like, yeah, because, you know, I got y'all tickets already. <laughs> that's exactly what we did in Chick-fil-A. You guys, we're really going to Atlanta. I can't even get, like, I'm, I feel so spoiled or something. Like, this man does I not feel black. Today, how do you feel? Way up, I feel blessed. I feel sensational. <laughs> like, uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know if I've said uh, if I've said it too much, or I haven't said it enough, or if my hug wasn't tight enough. But when I tell y'all I love Uncle Al, I really, really, really love, love him. Uncle and Al. it's not even it's not the whole him paying for our tickets. He wants to make sure that we go so that we can get the word the out thing about is, this show. Uncle L wants us to be so successful. Yeah. So it's just like when somebody else who isn't us right. like, wants us to be so successful, it's just nice because sometimes people like take it for a joke. They do. Or like play with us about it. I mean, so, that's just the truth. But when Uncle I tell y'all, never like that. July cannot get his Atlanta. I am coming. Right, we booked the like, ride. Y'all have to come to this blackout now because we are in the building. We're in there. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see y'all. I really hope that a lot of y'all can come. And I'm excited to go to Atlanta. I've never been. Me too. But let me tell y'all what I did start doing. Immediately, I started looking up restaurants that I've been dying to go to. Ben, I'm going to Gladys Chicken and Waffles so goddamn fast. We might Yo. go when we get off the Can plane. you order? Yo, Can I you order it? Look, because we're not coming in until like late Thursday night. I was like, what time do they close? Because we can go when we get off the late plane. Late night. I'm so... We already talked about going to the Georgia Aquarium. I just... It's going to be a nice time. And the best part, like he said, because it just seems like... I don't know why, because I feel like me and Tanae are always in the house, but everybody else always says that we're busy and it's hard to get a whole day with us. And he was just like, I'm just so happy to spend time with y'all. So I can't wait. It's going to be... Like, it's time. only February, and I just wish it was the summertime. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. But um, I always wish it was the summertime. <sighs> Shout out to Uncle Al again because I love him, but right. let's get into the show. Sorry. I'm just, I'm so excited. Like, I'm just so freaking excited. Like, I could never repay him for this. But not just this, but, but so many other things that he does for this show. But um, for Black History Month, because it's our month, it's you know definitely our month. We get the shortest month out of the year, but it's ours. So, um, and shout out to you, Stacey Dash, bitch, because we here. Um, and we ain't going nowhere. Every Monday, I want to talk about somebody different, a black person, someone that we actually like, and someone that I'm excited about and maybe inspired by. So today it's going to be Misty Copeland. Today it's going to tell you some stuff about Misty Copeland. Well, I'm not going to tell you that much. I'm just going to tell you one thing. Um, <laughs> Misty Copeland, um, other than her being an extraordinary dancer, a wonderful ballerina, she is the first, she made history at being the first black or African American female principal dancer with the American Ballet Theater. So that's an amazing thing because, you know, black girls do ballet. And it's just so great to get recognized and just to have such a, you know, great position and title. Like, that'll follow her forever and it'll go down in books. And, you know, I have a goddaughter who in, who loves dance. Yes, she does. So, I love that, you know, even though she's mixed and she looks white, I love that it's a black lady there that she can look up to and say, you know, look at her. She made it. I can do that too. So. And you know what? She Big wants to, um, Misty. for church, especially when we were in church, like, we always talked about somebody and we would dress the younger kids up like the, uh, the person, so... For some reason, she just keeps telling me she wants to be Martin Luther King, but I really want to dress her up like Misty Copeland. She can't Copeland. be Martin Luther King. She wants to be Martin Luther King. She keeps saying it. 
And I, I think because she really doesn't know who Misty Copeland is, so I'm just going to educate her on the tutu. That's what she's going to be. If she don't, it's just, that's it. That's it. You're going to be Misty Copeland. So shout out to Misty Copeland, and that's how Black History Month facts for today, for this Monday, February the 1st, 2016. Yes! But, um, February the 1st. So let's get straight. I'm going to say let's get straight right? into this video like we wasn't supposed to then get into it, but to talk about um and we always have a long ass video no this is real so i mean where do i even start yesterday was a crazy night for tv like everything was on i really didn't know what to watch to the point where i almost didn't watch nothing and i went to sleep okay so grease live came on which i'm mad that i didn't know it came on at seven because we could have we weren't watching we anything at seven o'clock at seven o'clock like we literally threw it it came on at 8. We right. tried it on at 8. It's halfway in Matthew 3. So, Tanae, how did you Because Tanae is a big Grease fan. So, um, how did you feel about the parts you did see? The parts that I... The parts that I did see, I really did enjoy. Um, I feel bad because everybody really, really enjoyed <laughs> Kiki Palmer as Marty. Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't enjoy her as Marty at all. Um, it's crazy because... A lot of the, um, I was like just looking at the clothes and the different things that they like. I don't, they left like a lot of classic lines out, uh, and I didn't like that. Um, um, they did change up some of the songs, but you do that live. But because I'm such a big fan of Grease, I, I just really wanted Grease. I really wanted John Travolta and Olivia Newton John live, like. So I had to just get myself together. That would be like asking for Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. But see, the thing is, I, I enjoyed The Wiz. <laughs> so, um, uh, but, um, yeah, like, I mean, it was nice for what it was, but I wish they just would have went back to the drawing board because, like, the thing about it is, like, back in that day, I want to say it may have been, like, the late 40s, 50s, they were, like, raunchy like they were a little soggy mm. like so and like they was like slobbing each other down and freak dancing like they was really like that like Cha Cha was a slut but she was like but I hated the Cha Cha that they had she looked like a poodle like I just really did a lot of things over but that hand job scene almost made me jump off my bed and join them like i'm not a big grease fan so. it was just i'm I, you know i recorded it i started watching it i'm gonna finish it i think you should <sighs> because if y'all i know every single song from grease i know all the words at one point in my lifetime i had soundtrack like it's that serious so i just feel like they could have did better but you know it is what it, it is. is what it is. I enjoy Boys the Men. I enjoy Boys the Men. Like, yeah. I did enjoy that case. Oh, and you know what else was so cool? So, the old Frenchie from the movie was actually in the live one. Oh, okay. So, that was nice. I like that. But, um, yeah, I, I wish they could have just had a little bit more time to just do stuff a little so bit better. So, what you saw, what are you giving it out of, a, out of six stars? Oh. I'm going to give it three. Damn. Maybe I can, should watch the whole thing. I'm going to give it four. All right. I'll give you four out of six. And maybe if I watch the whole thing with, like, no stops, I can give you a higher one than that. But I just can't because the thing is, like, the, what really, really messed me up is, first of all, this Danny Zuko that y'all picked, because he wasn't smooth enough. Like, if y'all, Danny Zuko was, like, a smooth operator. Like. Ooh, he was like he was just a man you wanted to have and so like this one didn't do it um i actually thought that this one actually looked more like the i can't think of his name right now but the mean guy with the um bad car that cut his car i can't think of his name he kind of looked more him like him to me um oh my god as soon as i saw eugene i cracked up because that was a great person that y'all picked for eugene um, I, and you know what I did like? I did like the child integrated black people in it because if you watch Grease, it's not one black soul. At the end, at the fair, when they're singing, we'll always be together. It's 
against one black person in the crowd. I've had enough. But I mean, so yeah. But and, and like just like the, the classic lines that they left out, like. Because it's what? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not one at the dance. But the thing is, like, it's just like Greece is such a classic. Like, I kind of feel like y'all should have just left it alone if y'all wasn't going to do it right. So next, they're saying that it's going to be um little Sh little shop of horrors uh live next. What is that? Look, um, little shop of horrors. I don't know what that is. Am I saying it wrong? Yeah, little shop of horrors. Little shop of horrors with um Pam and Gina in it. I mean, Tisha Campbell and, uh... I don't know what that is. With the big-ass plant? And the plant coming out. But the, I've the, never seen that. You would love that! You love musicals! I've never heard of it. What? Nay-nay! She has. She just can't remember. Okay. Tanette, Google it. Are you crazy? No, I'm not! I've never heard no, of that. Wait, how much she love no, musicals? No, we have every musical in the world. You Why tried it. You know, no, but I'm... I'm you don't know it. I've never seen this. I've never heard of this. You have little shop of horror You can't tell me what I, what I know. Now we gotta have movie night one day soon. Cause you would love that. I've never seen this before. That's unbelievable. If I had seen it, it's been a long time and I don't know. Maybe it scared me. It might have. And I didn't watch it anymore. It might have scared you. Cause I'm scared of everything. Okay, um... Also, Celebration of Gospel was on. So, we did watch some of that. I had to actually watch the rest of that, but I enjoyed the parts that I saw. We I heard Karan shouting all night oh, long. Oh, God. And they did one of his favorite songs. I don't the know first know. song, like, that opened it up. Yeah, some man. I don't oh, know. This Means War. This no, that wasn't it. I don't know. They did This Means War. That was the last one. No, well, then it was the no, first song. Whatever the first song was. And I enjoyed the other girl that I saw. Um, the next girl, she was kind of heavy set. I can't remember what she did, but she tore the house down. Tamla No, I enjoyed Tamla Man. Did y'all see Tamla Man? Why did they say Tamla Man looked like Ursula? Yeah, they did say Tamla Man looked like Ursula from uh. But Tamla squeezed them hips in that little outfit. Hmm. Hmm. Take me to the king. But um, I didn't get the, uh, like I said, it was too much on, so I didn't get to finish watching all of that. Then also, Keeping Up With The Kardashians came on, but it was the episode where Kim's baby shot, I mean, well, it wasn't even her baby shower, it was her birthday party. I thought it was the baby shower. But, um, so I, of course we can't miss that because that's Tanae's family. And, um, I didn't get to see Real Housewives of Potomac because, I, did you see Real Housewives of Atlanta? Wait a minute. So that's what we about to talk about. Real Housewives of Atlanta because I didn't get to see that at all last night. Like, not one smidgen. But when we got off of work, that was the first thing we did. But I kept hearing people keep, everybody kept on saying, what did you think about Real Housewives? Did you see what happened on Real Housewives? So I was like, let me watch this shit. I'm glad I watched it because first of all, I miss NeNe. So. Nene! Everything felt normal again. Like, I wanted more Nene. Can I tell you something? Nene is and forever will be MF and Bay. It's true. Like, Nene is the shit. She is. You know, Nene could come back in the middle of this episode and be fine. I bet you last night was one of the highest rated. It probably was. Yo. Okay. From the time Nene stepped on, I was screaming. So, let's just talk about a few things that I have to say about this and we can move on. So, this was the episode where they went to Jamaica and Nene came as a surprise, but that wasn't laid until down the line. Right. The first thing that I want to say is, Kim, I love you. I really do love you. Like, I already, I already came on here and told you that. I just don't think this show is for you, but... Because you're better. You're, 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 you're just too... You're wholesome. Like, it, this just isn't the show for you. But I wouldn't mind watching a show with you in Just it. not this Just one. not this show, because it just seems like... They're in too, too much cattiness and drama that you're not into. Well, the number one thing I want to say is, from the beginning, I just, the whole kid thing kind of blew me away. Like, I'm really not understanding. Like, I, I understand that you bought your babysitter, but I'm almost to the point where I feel like you should, like, you should have did everything separately. Like how Peter had to leave early and then Cynthia had to right. leave early. Maybe you and your family should have came together. Y'all should have drove your own oh, car together. Because it's like... 
they have to try to center that song. And they I mean, mean at all. And on the bus, I mean, thank God that the babysitter was there because we know in D.C. the babysitter was not there. So well, thank, she said because of the D.C. trip, she... I feel like something's in my head. I just, just thank God, but I wasn't really feeling you bringing the kids. Like, I was kind of feeling like that. Number two, Sheree and Bob. Bob and Sheree. See, Sheree, I, it's you I have a problem with right now. It's not even him because... I always say it. These niggas only get away with the stuff that these bitches allow. And that's the that's the truth. And the thing is, like, I don't even care if you and Bob are rekindling what y'all had. But what I hate is that for the kids shit. Yeah, like, come Your on. Your kids are grown as shit. Like, like, when you when you were begging him and taking him to court for him to help take care of his kids... He didn't want to have nothing to do with that shit. They even showed a little clip of him right. saying that he would never pay he you child support. support. But now that the kids are like 16 and 18, he wants to come back and y'all doing it for the kids. Come on, if you just miss the D, just say that. You I don't know. Me. Like, but I don't know what you're missing though, cause the I mean, he, he the eyes messed up, so maybe he is. Um, I used to think it was color. the money, but I don't. Know. He is just a clown. He's really a clown, and he's kind of ugly. And I think his breath might stink. Oh, he was nice. giving me Forrest Whitaker too, but all right, all right, all right. I'm just saying. Second, me third. Now, this was before I even saw the preview for next week. Listen, Kim's husband is a little sweet. What are you burning? Nothing. Go ahead. This bitch, that's the new thing she want to do too in the middle of videos. Cook. But yeah, Kim's husband is a little sweet, you know. I don't know. Like I don't know if I ever, I just wasn't paying him any attention before or what, but he was giving me a little tambourine player. So. I mean, they already had kids in that marriage. I mean, they do live in Atlanta though, so. That's no shade to anybody that lives in Atlanta, but it is shade. Y'all know what they say about Atlanta. <clears throat> I won't be going to find my husband there. But um, <sighs> Kenya, oh Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore needs that ass whipped and dragged. Like, first of all, I. So tired of you hiring these men to come on the show to participate in things with well, you. Well, they like, said together, so I don't know if she's like. I him. really had to say it's it's Kai Jan and it is. Kai Jan is. He only came on this trip for the free trip and the free pussy because that was the only. He probably she probably gave that up before she got to Jamaica. Like, who in their right mind would? Oh my God, Lord, take that evil, evil thought that I just had in my head out. Who would want to put up with Kenya? Like this bitch is really crazy. She really is crazy. Okay, so Cynthia, see, my problem with you is you just, to me, you don't lay it all out on the table. Right. See, the thing is, um, you're too busy sugarcoating shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. Don't, the thing is, because Cynthia don't want no problems, and I mean, I kind of. Understand, but it's y'all grown. Like y'all grown as women. Like you need to buy. I mean, her being one of your closest friends, one of your best friends, or whatever. Supposedly, you should have told her when Kim left. Like you were wrong. Don't like you were wrong. You she should have told her she was wrong right in front of Kim. But I'm just saying that scene shouldn't have been over before without her saying you're wrong. And. I feel like Kenya really had no reason to be mad because you couldn't make the meet. Right, like... If it, it was that important to you, if it was something you wanted to do did, that bad, you, you would have made, made the, the meeting. meeting. But see, the thing is, Kim Fields is about her money and her business. She's a brand, so... And it, it shows the difference. Exactly. It, it shows, shows the, the discipline, too. Right. So, you know, once she decided that she was choosing Kim, it should have been what it was. No. You want to come to the table and throw shots at Kim and be rude. And I like Kim. I but it's not Kim's fault. Right, it's that not Kim. Cynthia picked her. I didn't understand why she wasn't going after Cynthia yeah. from the get-go. It's not It's not her fault that Cynthia picked her. Okay. It's your fault because you didn't show up to the meeting. So then you try to start insulting Kim. But like Kim said, my rap sheet speaks for itself. I, like, the thing is, you're not client. I don't have to 
lay out my credentials to you. I don't have to lay out nothing to you because you're not my client. What you are is a fan. And since you're a fucking fan, you can look me up. Google me, baby. That's it. So, you know, besides her big... Because if it was anybody else why Kenya was acting crazy like that, see, they probably would have already had tried, you know, somewhat put Kenya in her place. But I noticed when Kenya gets too crazy, Kim just kind of... And that's because Kim doesn't, like she said, she really, really does not want to be bought out of character for Kenya. Kenya she don't pull you out. Right, like she don't want to stoop that low. But the thing is, these other ladies on the show will, and that's the one reason why you shouldn't be on the show, exactly. because she's going to keep on going at you. She's going to keep on trying you and tempting you for you to come out. Look at poor Portia. I thought Portia was the sweetest dumb, nice and sweet, thing. sweet as pie. Drag she had to drag poor Kenya's ass across the floor. See, I would have dragged Kenya last night. After I got to watch it today, like, see, Kim, you, I'm glad that you kept your cool, but at the same time, I'm sad that you kept your cool because, see, when she started yelling, you know, okay, Kim, Tootie, Phil, like she was me to and call, the da, 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 da. Is, she tell her you're being condescending. You're being condescending. You're being rude. Everything you're saying that she's doing, you're doing. You're trying to drive away. Nobody wants to drive away between you and your friend. Nobody cares but you. So then she drags her chair out when Kim says that she's leaving. Now, see, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the producers, and Andy Cohen, all of them, I really feel like they would have let Kim slide if she would have beat the shit out of Kenya last night because... Even though she didn't touch Kim, she pulled her chair out. Like, I, when she did it, I felt the Incredible Hulk build up inside when of me. When she like, did it, I felt disrespected. And it wasn't even me. I'm still I mad. felt disrespected. I, my, my instinct was to smack a bitch, and it was nobody there to smack. Like, that's the thing. Kim, there's no way. There's no... Oh, no. Then, then she followed you to the steps while you walked away. And as soon as we would have got to them steps, I would have yanked Yo, her ass down. I saw everything. She, she oh my followed God. her? She followed I her to the steps. To like, I would have really had to fuck Kenya up. I would have fucked I would have lost my job. And that would have been Who fine. Who cares? Who cares? It would have been fine. Yeah, I, I would have dragged her. I, Kenya needed to be dragged last night. Like, that was nothing but disrespect. Oh, what, because you're 50? And she said, but I don't look it. But the thing is, can you go and get some... Can you... Do you know how old you look? Them do you know face, how those bitch. craters in your face make you look? You tried it. Ma'am! And that nappy-ass, poofy-ass weave you have in that confessional. Like, ma'am. Are you serious? Okay. So, I was really excited about... um. Yeah. I was really excited about Nene being there. I really enjoyed Nene. I loved all the shit. I love Nene. Like, because it was just like old It was just like old times. Only thing is, Nene wasn't as shady as she usually could be or as messy. Like, I wanted her to get messier, but she really was chilling. But it's no point in her getting messy. This ain't her shit. I mean, she's not on here no more. Now, I will say, before we go into the main event, which I like to call it, I am not for the phony the phoniness that's kind of going on to me. See, because, like, Nene and Sheree, like, that kind of... Mm-mm. What? I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like they could be cordial and stuff, but... I mean, but the thing is, like, I don't think they're being phony. I don't think Nene and Sheree are being phony just because, like, they... It's not like they brushed anything on the rug. She, like she said, the last time I saw you, like, they really went in, but they're over it now. Like, because the thing is... Even though on the show it looks like like we're villains, they not like two enemies on the street that want to like beat each other's ass. They just like going at it. And I'm not feeling Cynthia and Nene either. I don't care. See, we talk about these things all the time. Me and Tanea, well, our little circle of friends. We don't mm-hmm. have a circle. We have a square. Our little square of friends... We would never do that. Like, like if say the same thing they friends, say. The things that I want to say about Tanea and how I feel about Tanea, I can say to Tanea, right, bitch. I don't, I don't like your selfish, petty ways. No, I don't. You're a selfish, petty bitch. I'm not gonna wait. And, my baby. And I don't give a fuck. I, I, like, I'm not gonna wait 
until we're not friends and throw all these like, yeah, bitch, you can't dress anyway and your breath stink and your underwear always stink and your mother ugly. All right, all right, all right. So I'm not going to do all this. So, you know, after you throw all of those, like, I don't understand how people become friends. But see, and the thing about, I think was, I mean, because the thing is, I can see them being cordial again. I can see them being cordial, saying that they forgive this me. This is not cordial. This is almost like best friend right now. Yeah, like, it's kind of weird. But if if that's what y'all want to do, I'm going to say it. Because Greg. I know who my best friend is. That's because Greg was about to whoop that ass. ass. And that's because he disrespected my wife. But when you're not disrespecting my wife, we cool. But if not, I want you to know I will wax that black ass. And he had to let it know. That's why I love Peter being home in his home Yo, country. Like, Peter in that mango shirt. Okay. Peter's shirt. Let me tell y'all something. Look like tapestry. Like a real live picture. It was just like, Peter, what the f do you have? Who made that? Like, what brand is it? Where did you find it? I really feel like Peter got on the plane and got drunk and then just he drunk been the drunk whole, the whole he, time. I mean like drunk to the point where he's almost stumbling. He can't walk. He can't really talk that much. Peter's getting effed up. He is loving being home and I'm loving it too. Okay now with the whole you know Cynthia flipping on Kenya quick quick at that table. It just goes to show you who the phony one is, like, because people always be like, Nene is phony. Nene says whatever she got to say in front of everybody. If Kenya would have stayed at that table, in front of Kenya, she would have said, they not BFFs, and I don't think it's like that. She said it in front of a table of women so it could get back. Like, she don't, she doesn't care. Cynthia. The only person changing their words up and changing their answers up is Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. Now, I will say that, you know, your true colors just keep showing when it comes to the phony card because at that table, when they asked you that, that was embarrassing for Kenya. And Kenya wasn't even at the table. It was just embarrassing because if I found... Oh, we're going to miss Coley. Coley. All right, we're going to have to hurry up. It better be cold on this other time. We That's cook and we answer FaceTimes and we eat. Hey, Coley! Look at Coley. Hey, Coley! Hey, Coley! What you doing? Oh my God, I love you! Turn to the camera. Yo, we are recording and this is Coley. This is Coley. Oh, y'all probably can't, can't see him. him. Hey, Cole, did you just got finished eating? Look at your belly. Yeah, you can't finish about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. Hi, Duncan. Two. You getting excited? You miss me? I miss you too. When are you coming back? Like anytime y'all want to see me, see, I weigh 15 pounds now. Oh, my gosh. Cole, I am recording a video. So I answered it right in the middle. Oh. Sorry, say, say, I'm sorry. It's fine, but I answered it because I knew you was going to be on the other side of this phone. <laughs> he got a lot to say. <laughs> All right, Cole, I'm going to call you back. Hopefully, you won't be asleep when I'm done. All right. All right, bye, Cole. Love you. Bye, Cole. Love you. He is looking like... <laughs> That's what I'm calling so that. I'm about to get Cole. You should. But, um... Yeah, so Cynthia, I mean, Cynthia, it was no reason for you at the table. Like, you really downplayed you and Kenya's friendship because before Nene was there, these couple of weeks that we've been watching Real Housewives, y'all been buddy buddy. Right. Really? You you burned the friendship contract. Like. So, yeah. Um, but all that you had to do was say, and this would have been really honest, me and Kenya are really good friends, but now that Nene is back, the, I mean, but that's it. Be honest. Like, you know, I understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Nene is back. The void is filled. <laughs> I'm going to have to find another place for Kenya. So then Kenya brings it up to her. Because cause see, now at this point, Marlo, they don't flew Marlo in. But not, is her name Marlo? Mallory. Mallory, the sister, not Marlo. Marlo. Marlo, <laughs> Cynthia's sister, they don't flew her in. So now it's just like, you know. Drama on drama on drama. Sheree comes back and tells Kenya, like, look, I heard y'all ain't best friends. Because cause Kenya's like, yeah, what, she's one of my best friends. Is she, is, does she think you are? The, Come on, Sheree. Because last night she said that 
y'all, she's still kind of getting to know you. Sheree. Damn, like. Sheree. So when she pulled up to Cynthia, you know, Kenya bringing to Cynthia, Cynthia's like, well, well I, I am kind of still getting what, what I you. said was, oh, oh, oh. our friendship is evolving. You didn't say that. What you said was, I'm still getting to know her. Wait a minute, because wait a minute, when, they had, when they said it, Nene Nene said, that ain't my best friend. That ain't best friend. Hold on. That's your best friend. That's your best friend. Like me. That's your best friend? I can't. I, I can't, Cynthia. You know that picture that I showed you of the monkey? Yeah. When it's like, when people say, that was, that was, <laughs> that was Nene last night. That's your best That's friend. That's not your best friend, That's bitch. not your best friend, bitch. I'm your best friend. I do it all the time. I understand, Nene. I just feel like, I don't want Nene to leave, like. Me neither. I'm really I'm happy. I'm so that, happy she's going to be here. I'm so happy they made it to two. Yeah, I'm happy it's going to be a two part, but, um. I will say, Candy, we didn't need you. Candy, we missed you. Candy, we didn't need you. We couldn't have missed her because she was in the damn episode. I'm just oh, saying. you mean on the island? We didn't miss you at yeah. all. Yeah. And I really hope that you didn't go with Mama Joyce as your primary nanny because if you want your husband, I suggest you don't move Mama Joyce up in there. And that's all I'm going to say. Like, just let her go ahead and be the grandmother. I get the whole thing about wanting to have somebody there who will, you know, you can trust, but mm -mm. but that's enough of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let's talk about Beyonce. So him for the weekend, which is Coldplay's song featuring Beyonce, came out this past, I believe, Friday, maybe Thursday. I want to say Friday. I want to have my facts straight, so I'm going to say Friday. And um, it's film. It was filmed in India, and Beyonce looks amazing. Like. Beyonce's skin is screaming, I'm pregnant. This is my pregnancy glow. Like, I'm really feeling like Beyonce might be pregnant, you guys. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just telling y'all how I feel. And, um, of course, you know, here come the haters, especially the Rihanna Navy, because, you know, their boo just came out with a CD, so it's like, oh, fuck Beyonce. We listening to Rihanna song, uh, okay, whatever. So it comes out that you know, basically, people in India were really offended about Beyonce being dressed up in their Indian garb. In their Indian garb. What is it, garb? Garb. Garb. But it's called appropriate. Uh, oh, what they're saying is she is appropriating um, Indian, Indian culture. culture, but. She's not like just because she dressed up in a in a like you know what I'm saying. Just because she dressed up in a video this one time like that does not mean she's appropriating Indian culture. Uh, to me, that would be like if she was taking if you saw her like with the dot wearing that yeah. all the time or trying to make it seem like you know she really is a part of this. Well. She just dressed up like that one time. Like, just it's just like, y'all want to be mad so bad. So bad. And the thing is, why you mad at her? Yeah. Be mad at the person who directed it. was Cold Coldplay. Coldplay. This was his song. But get into this shit. Because as soon as y'all started going off, the director came out and was like, but I'm Indian. The, oh, I saw it. The, I, it. It was an Indian director. He put her in that outfit. So, calm down. Like, nobody. She looked amazing. I Beyonce. was trying to see if how I could get that. Cause you know I liked it. It was a, oh the um what's it called um henna henna. It was a symphony in the low 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 low. Cause y'all know I can belly dance. Oh I oh I. Yo, I love that song. I always listen to it, so like I was really excited. But also, Beyonce goes to the Super Bowl this week with Coldplay. Well, Coldplay. I mean, Beyonce goes with Coldplay. Yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, goes right. Yeah, because everybody's just like everybody's turning this into the Beyonce halftime. It's not the Beyonce halftime. Half -time, it's the Coldplay halftime, and I'm still excited. And I'm st I'm hearing that Bruno Mars is going to be there too. Oh, oh my God! Cause if y'all don't know, for me, Bruno Mars is a turn up the whole time. I love Bruno Mars, but um, she has been I've been hearing a lot like I just keep hearing about some B6 something about to say B6 Thursday some B6 album and that is already some music finished. might be dropping Sunday yeah night. and she already recorded two videos one called
called foundation I forgot what the other one was called like the sweetest thing I don't know like I, I, I refuse to get excited because I just need Beyonce to tell me so I'm keeping calm until Sunday Sunday will be the moment of truth and right. I just can't wait I just cannot wait like I can't wait I, I can't wait so um what team are you for the Super Bowl. The Panthers came in there. I was making sure because I was going to tell you Black Lives Matter. Um, but also, make sure y'all try to catch Beyonce on some, you know, um, Super Bowl has the conferences and stuff all week, so Beyonce will actually be appearing at one of the conferences. Y'all remember she did at the conference when she came. Oh my God! Baby! Beyonce in a tight dress and she pregnant. I would die. The thing is, I'm going to die, but I've been I've been saying it so I could if she just in case she is, I'll Good. be okay. Good. But um but I'm gonna die. Yeah, y'all know last time she was there, that was around the time that the inauguration that happened and everybody was saying that she, she couldn't sing and she lip sync. She came on there saying saying, dropped the mic and was like, Any questions? Any questions? I might watch that tonight. But, um, so, yeah, this is an exciting week for the Beehive. Um, moving on back to Rihanna. So, Rihanna's sales have come out. Because, see, I was attacked by some of the Rihanna Navy saying that I was hating when everybody came out, including Rihanna herself, saying, thank you guys for making me platinum in just 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever the fuck it was. When I knew for a fact. Rihanna did not go platinum that quick. I mean, come on, guys. The Navy does not buy albums. Let's be clear. Y'all stream music. Y'all do not buy the album. See, the thing about Adele is that I bought the album on iTunes. I bought the physical copy. In Target. And I stream it. Like, well, wait a minute. No, because she ain't streaming that shit yet. Right. Oh, she not streaming. So, yeah. I See, that's what I'm saying. Like, Adele and her numbers are straight off of sales alone. That's what I'm saying. Like, this ain't no Vivo. Beyonce and no her stream. were straight off of iTunes sales alone. Because it was only available on iTunes when it came out. Like, you guys, they are saying that Rihanna, on the first night that it came out, sold 460 copies of Anti. No, and you know what? Okay, so this I'm trying to I'm trying to help Rihanna defend her because what time did it come out? Didn't it come out like late at night? Well, I mean, they mean the first night that she that it was available to buy. Cause remember the first night it wasn't available to buy it was available. She gave it out for free on yeah. title, and you can download it for free. But then the that was Thursday night, right? Yeah. That was late that night. Yeah. But the next day she dropped the whole thing because the deluxe came out. Okay. 460. The thing about it is, like, 460? And like I told Tiffany, I saw a, I saw a Navy member on my timeline say that they were pissed off that they couldn't get the free download. This is your favorite person in the world. Why do you want to free? Support her. Support her. And like I can understand Rihanna having so many streams, so many fans, so fast. Rihanna has played with us about an album for over a year. So as soon as you got like caught wind of her dropping a CD, of course you want to go stream it. Of course you want to hear it. We've been waiting for over a year. The streams was definitely up there in the millions. Four million. So um, but people were asking, you know, what did we think about it again? And I. I still love it. I still love I it. Still now love I can it. tell you what songs I really, really do like and which ones that I really don't care too much I still much don't about. like Kiss It Better. Yeah, I'm still not... I still don't like I'm it. I'm still not a fan. I, I don't know. And I, I, I tweeted earlier, like, I'm starting to feel like an alien because everybody loves this song except Yeah, me. and the thing about it is, like, I even went and looked up the words and the words are nice, but... So I'm still with consideration. Woo. I like consideration. Mm -hmm. um, I like love on the brain, higher and same old mistakes. I like consideration. I like James joint. I'm I'm work is growing on me, y'all. I listened to it today while I was at work. Still not me. Um, I still like Desperado. I still like Woo. I really, really like needed me. I'm really not there with yeah. I said it. Try to go again. I don't know. Um, I, cause I think I skip it. I really like same old mistakes. 
I love Love on the Brain, and Higher is really my favorite. And she could have kept those three um, deluxe on the deluxe. Somebody said Good Night Gotham is real good. That was the one I let you listen to, and it's not any words. Oh. Um. Yeah, I really don't like sex with Close to You is a pretty song. Like, it sounds pretty or whatever. It's just not too much of my cup of tea. But Higher is still my number one. Solid album from Rihanna, if you ask me. Right, like... I don't know why people are complaining. I thought it was... I mean, the thing, like I said, the people who are complaining are what old, you know, badass, Mm -hmm. black and latex, about to blow up some shit, Rihanna. She's evolving as an artist and as a person. She's growing up. So, you're just going to have to get music that's not the same as what you are used to. And the thing is... If she's your favorite, you're just going to have to grow and evolve with her like like we did with Beyonce. Listen to Dangerously in Love and then go listen to Beyonce. Change. Her voice doesn't even sound the same. But because we love her, that's fine. We roll with the punches. Um, so on to more music. Drake put out a single this week. I mean, this past weekend. It's called 16 Seconds of Summer. Fire. I really like it. And you know what? It was just a lot of shade going on with the whole Meek Mill thing. And I know Meek Mill dropped, you know, a disc. And they're saying that um, he already was taking some shots at the single 16 Seconds of because Summer. He because he knew what was going on there. Drake's ghostwriter gave him the information and gave him the lyrics and all this but other shit. But my only thing with that is, if you had the cheat paper, like, you know, like, you had it. You still didn't win. Right. Like, and that's my whole thing, but feel like I at this point, like I keep hearing about how good Meek Mill's mixtape is, and I'm pretty sure it is good. But I no longer can listen to him. I told y'all like literally he when lost I try to he listen lost to Meek Mill, my stomach hurts and I feel like I'm being but see, the thing is, sneaky or something. I like never I was I never I liked his singles. Oh, whatever, like what came on the radio. But I know was a real, real big Meek Mill fan. I can't understand. Shit, he's saying he's too loud and he raps too fast. I can't. You know, I can't. I, I, it's not me. But especially with that Drake, this Drake versus Meek Mill, y'all already know where I'm at. So I really team, team Drake. But shout out to Drake, though, because he has announced that the album comes out in April. I heard it's coming out April the 16th. I'm not 100% Peace. showing it, but... I'm excited. Like, it really, at this point, make it's nothing you can do. Like, everybody's already giving you the L. Like, at, the yes. other day, who was, oh, when Kanye and uh, Wiz was uh, going back and forth, they brought you up. They said, even though Meek Mill had nothing to do with this, he still lost. Wow. Hey, hey. Y'all are so petty, like, right. <laughs> everybody's already giving you this L for life, so it's like, I don't, I really don't know. Because the thing is, you really got body by singing, nigga. That's the truth, but um, I was telling Tanae, I'm excited about the Grammys for next year because this is the music that will be included, so think about it. We'll have Janet Jackson, Tamar, um, Adele, Beyonce, Rihanna, Kanye, and Drake. Who else is this? Who, who's to say what else might come out before the deadline in October? So this is a good year for music. So I'm I'm really excited. But um, I wanted to let you guys know that the SAG Awards did come on this past Saturday. I didn't watch much of them, but shout out to our people because Viola Davis won an award for How to Get Away with Murder, and Idris Elba won his award that he should have got nominated for the Oscars. Uh, for Beats and No Nation, he got an award for that, and he got an award for his show Luther. So, and on just New Black one. So, I was just really excited about that. And this Saturday, I mean this Friday at nine o'clock on TV One, I'm going to DVR it because I'll be out. But the Image Awards are coming on. Listen, people, there's a reason that these awards come on in Black History Month. That's number one. Number right. two. If you needed a show to make sure you see your favorites and your favorites get some type of nominations, this is the show. I mean, the whole power cast is going to be there. Scandal's going to be there. Empire's going to be there. Being Mary Jane's going to be there. Like, everybody's going to be there. So, I'm excited because power is finally nominated for some awards. Amari um, Hardwick is finally um, nominated for some awards. So, make sure y'all catch that. Um, Not much on Black Rob this week. Uh, the Black um, China got arrested Friday. Now they tried. They tried to say that it was Chris Jenner who got her arrested, but we later found out that that wasn't true. But then they said that it still might be true because Kim, Chris Jenner, 
40 years ago, we used to work for American Airlines, and she pulled some strings. Like the people who worked for American Airlines when she was a fucking stewardess still work for American Airlines. Like, I didn't even hear that. I did. That's how they were saying, that's how, that's how they were saying that. That she did it? Yeah, pull the strings. Yeah, because they were saying that she went to go have a meeting with her and Rob on Friday to discuss how she really hoped that that's not true because I want to know what meeting she had with Tyga and Kylie. Right. I don't... I, I mean, I don't think she... I think she was really going to check on Rob because, no, I don't, I don't think any of them have seen him. Well, shit, I will say this, though. In these snaps, I ain't seen nothing but healthy food and exercise, and so... If that's what you needed, Rob, do you. Just keep it off a of ball. Right. Me. Right. Like, the thing is, I would somewhat uh, not appreciate, I would come somewhat respect this union if everything they did wasn't made for TMZ or Ball Alert or whomever to, you know, report it back. Right. Onto a social media. It's just like, is this really real? Is this on? Are you only doing this for attention? And if we find out that this was a publicity stunt and only for attention, it just goes to show how sick two fucking adults are. Like, yeah. you're sick. Do you have nothing better else to do than fake a relationship? You are a fucking mother. Like, I know you are busy. You have businesses, Rob, and, um, China, like I know y'all are busy. I know y'all have shit to do. Like, please don't. I want. I actually, and y'all know how I feel about Black China. I kind of want it to be real more than I want it to be fake. Because if it's fake, then it's just like ridiculous. I can't take it. Tanae has spoken, but we gotta go. I just wanted to know if y'all knew about Amina being pregnant. That shit show. That. Is fucking ridiculous. So it drops that Amina shows up to the uh, Love and Hip Hop reunion three months pregnant. Mm -hmm. I think Tara is like six or seven. Tara is about to drop. So my thing is okay, okay. <clears throat> See, because the thing is, I just, I'm, no, it's no one lady stupider. Okay? No, okay, no, it is one that's more stupid than the other. But both of y'all are dumb. Who do you think is the most stupid? Amina. I think Tara is. Be no, be let me tell you, let me tell you, give you my logic on why Amina is more stupid. Okay? Tara is a fucking idiot, okay? We know that from the jump. Mm -hmm. You've been with this man 13 years, got two kids, and he hasn't married you. You're an idiot. Off the jump. Okay. Amina. When you and him, Peter first got together, you knew that he was still with her. Okay? You still decided to marry him thinking that you marrying him would change him. Okay. So then, after all this, they still, you still see that he going to the house. You still see that they spend a lot of time together. You stay married and you have a baby. Okay. You have this baby. Tara ends up moving into, I mean, I'm going fast forwarding. Tara ends up moving into your building. He's still not staying home. Okay. Then it comes out that you're pregnant. But it, you, right when we find out you're pregnant, you find out that they're still having sex too. So you abort your baby. Okay. You would think that you kind of got your hand on straight. Like, okay, she got rid of this baby. She about to leave his ass. Really focus on the music. Leave Tara there being a dumb bitch. Mm. No. It didn't quite happen like that. Because after your abortion, you find out that Tara is pregnant. And then somehow, you're pregnant by Peter Dunn's. After Tara is pregnant again for the third time, you found out that he was having sex with Tara raw because they had a baby, and you decided to have sex with him raw after you. You understand what I'm saying? Is it my turn? I can't believe it. Okay. <clears throat> I feel that Tara is the most stupid because this man not only messed up your life, he messed up your kid's life. Yes. Like, you know, I think it's stupid that Amina brought a child into this world, but you already had two children. 
who were used to living right. with this man, who were used to certain things going on, mm -hmm. and he just up and fucked the whole house up. he said you was fussing too much. Because you gotta remember, when you fuck up the woman, some women can't handle that, and it starts to mess up their mothering, like, because she was depressed, she was angry, she was upset, so, you know, it was taking an effect on the household. She said it. The kids are getting stressed out. This was way back in the season when you first fucking right. came. You was living in, like, the projects at the time. I remember. Right. Mm -hmm. I saw it. It's no reason off the bat. That's how I'm feeling that you should be with Pete Guns and you live in the projects. Well, that's another Hold story. On. He's he's nothing. Of course they should be in the projects. Whatever. Okay. Then he goes... <laughs> And he gets with this girl. He keeps lying to you and telling you that it's not what it is. But then you find out it is what it is. Then you find out that he marries the bitch. You've been with him for 10... 13. 13. 13! 13 fucking years. Two kids. Yet, he marries the side bitch? And we had... Uh, yo, really? Like, really? Peter Gunn changed the fucking game. Like, we've never seen that happen, ever. So then... Because this started back when... Because, see, I'm going to tell you what it is, Tara. Because I'm going through it, too. They tell you to just let go and let, let go. go. And that's, that's real for you right now because... You started that whole for the kids shit, too. You went to... Y'all took the kids to... What was it, Jim? Barbados. Barbados or something. Said. For y'all family vacation, and then you and Peter. But hold on. But this is why Amina's dumb. Because he took his family, well, he took his ex-girlfriend and y'all, their kids, to Barbados. But you're home. He told you he was working on a music video. But then you find out the truth, and you're still there. See, that's my whole thing. Like, my thing with Amina being dumb is, Amina has had so many chances to leave the fuckery. See, but my thing about Amina and Tara is, because see, I'm not done, because see, that was just part of it. But my thing with Amina and Tara is, I went into this thinking that Amina was an idiot. Oh, see, and see, that's how I felt about Tara. See, no, I didn't go, see, I went in thinking Tara was a strong black woman. Mm -hmm. I really did. Like, I really no felt way. for her when this show, this show first started. Like, I felt like this man had really publicly embarrassed her, but... You know, after the whole Mary thing, they went and had a baby. They had, he had his girl with her. Like, you didn't even get the girl. She got the girl. But that's not his first girl. He no, it's not his this. first girl, but I'm just saying, that's his baby girl. Like, because she was saying she was hoping that this one was a girl with another boy, though. Mm. She's pregnant with another boy. But, um, then he tells you that they really not messing with each other like that. So, y'all stop fucking around again. You let this man convince you. <laughs> for the kids to move on Amina's side of town in Amina's building where her and her husband live with their child. That's your current son. You know! You know. You know in the back of your mind that he's still fucking Amina. That's his but wife, the thing number is, one. She does not care. That's the thing. Tara does not care. The thing is right now, you hurt people hurt people. Remember? Okay, so I remember that. Because remember, because Tanae was telling me that she would do that. She told me that she would start fucking Peter, fuck up the relationship, and then dump Peter. Yeah, see, that's what I would have did. Like, that's where she was at. Okay. It was a, I had some mastermind and shit. But then you found out again that he was lying, and you decided to move back home, and you got pregnant. Like, I just, see, I, I can't get, I can get over Amina getting pregnant again. I can't get over Tom being pregnant again. Like, I, I just can't, can't get over either one. being a dumbass. They're both dumb. Neither one of these women should be pregnant again. That's what I'm saying. I get neither that neither, but I feel like it Amina more, I mean, Tara more. It's, it's not a more. It's just dumb, period. Like, it's a fucking idiotic. It's the stupidest thing ever in the world to get pregnant by Peter Guns again. Like, Amina, you had an abortion. You got pregnant again. What was the point of the abortion? I'm sure Tara had a couple of secret abortions. I know she did. So, hold on. The type of bitch she is, no, she didn't. Because if she, if that was the case, this one would have been to the chop shop. No. See, they're, they're both stupid. But see, the thing is, my thing with Tara is, I was, before Tara had this baby, I was really giving Tara the card of fucking this bitch's husband just to piss her off. 
Because you know, that may be a little bit scandalous. I can see me doing something like that. Being so hurt, being so mad. Okay, I'm gonna just fuck up your relationship. Fuck him anytime I want to. But see me, no. I would be like videotaping it. I would be taking pictures and sending her ass on Valentine's All right, I don't, Day. I don't, wanna, I don't, I don't, stuff I don't, like that. That's enough. Like, I, I really don't want to talk about it anymore. Like, I can't take it anymore. It's, it's dumb on both I, This is a long-ass video. I just looked at the time. I, I, I hate that they're dumb black women. Honestly. It it bothers me. But, um, y'all keep them in prayer. Hope they do better in Black History Month. But real quick, and then we're going to go. I wanted to tell y'all about this little thing that the writer of Power put up. So, she basically put up a tweet, and she said, If y'all get it to 500, I'll give you guys two truths about two truth spoilers that are happening on power in one live. So the first I mean that the the ones where Angela loses her job, Yasmin returns for y'all who don't know Yasmin is the baby Ghost's girl who played on the youngest son. Thing. Okay. And Ghost is caught unarmed at the worst possible moment. I'm gonna say the two truths are Yasmin returns and Ghost is unarmed at the most uh at the worst possible moment. I don't want Angela to lose her job. I kind of was saying maybe she did lose her job because remember it's a new woman cop out. But and then I was thinking Angela's not really a cop. She's the lawyer, but she's still a bitch and a pig. Yeah. So I'm excited about power, so whatever. She said she's gonna give us a couple more this week, so I'm gonna be on the lookout. But we're gonna go now. I'll be back Thursday for a scandal review. If you're watching this right now, that means it's my birthday. So make sure you come under the video and shout me out. But um, what if is this it? is your first time watching, that's Rob Snit. I'm about to follow it. Um, oh shit. If this is your first time watching, we'll be here every Monday and Thursday for an all new video. Our scandal videos reviews start back next Thursday, and I'm really excited. If you've been watching, you know what to do. Make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show, and I'm glad I just remember this. Shout out to Lily. Lily follows us on social media and she followed us on the show and tomorrow is actually her birthday too and if i'm not mistaken is it lily testify yeah okay yeah if i'm not mistaken i think she said it's her 21st birthday i think oh my god girl turn up happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. so yeah um i'll be under the comments tomorrow i hope you all have a great week and we'll see you guys later take them out to them and if you didn't know, now you know that there is no show like the show. One love, bless up.